Good morning, happy Saturday. So for breakfast this morning, I've got um, an egg wrap, just using three eggs, and I've got sticky beans, which is made just with obviously baked beans and also soy sauce, um, and just let them get really hot, and they've got that sticky consistency. I'm just letting them cool, because the, the more you cool it, the sticky they get. And then I'm using one of the Aldi sausages that I had last night for half a sim. They're the skinny ones, and I'm just going to top it with some spinach and then just wrap it up. Um, I've got a hair appointment at 12, so I'm not going to be able to have lunch. That's why I'm having quite a big breakfast. I will have something to eat, obviously, when I finish. Just like, yeah, I just need something big and filling before I um, have my hair appointment later. So I'm just going to make a little sweet dessert for, dinner, um, for after dinner tonight. Um, I've seen it on Instagram. I'm sure it's probably on TikTok as well. Um, but it's the whole grain wheat biscuit. Bixes, you can have two as a healthy extra B. Obviously, wheat bix as well. Um, so I've just people use milk. I just thought I'd save my healthy extra A. Um, I prefer to use that for my tea and coffee <laughs> rather waste it on my dessert. So I've just softened it with some water. Um, and then I'm gonna pop that in the fridge about ten minutes, and then I'm gonna pop a bag, a bag, uh, vanilla on there. Um, I have got a lemon one. I'm I'm in now whether to use the lemon one. I'll decide by the time. This is kind of set a little bit. Um, and then you pop that on the top. You can, then, and then you put it back in the fridge. You could then melt some biscoff and pop that on there. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna have it as that, I think. I might put some blueberries on it. Um, and that's probably gonna be like a cheesecake not tonight. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know when it turns out. It could just be complete mush. But um, yeah, it's something to look forward to, I suppose. Um, so I'm going to do a food, I've done a food haul, um, which I probably either put up today or in a few days. Um, and I did say on it that they sent me four. I just found another one. So they sent me five as a substitute for a bunch. I think I had 150 grams of co coriander. They didn't have any in stock, so they sent me these five of these 30 gram ones. Um, so I'm going to use this one for my recipe tonight, which I'll show you later. Um, but the rest I'm going to chop up and pop in um, a big freezer bag and pop it in the freezer or a Tupperware. So it's been in the fridge for a little while and I've decided, instead of using the Kvark um, yogurts, I'm gonna, I've got some quark that needs to be used up. This is the fat-free quark from Asda, so that's free and a protein. And I've just juiced uh, basically nearly a whole lemon in here and grated some, um, fine, well finely grated, you can just about see it, um, lemon zest. So I'm just going to pop that on the top, that mix. Um, and it'll sort of save me half a sin as well um, and it'd be much more filling because I find quark really really filling so I'm just going to pop that spread that on the top pop it back in the fridge and I'll get it out later on um, this evening um, for my little evening treat and I'll show you what it looks like so here's my lunch for today I've got two whole milk bread which is my healthy extra B I know I've got that wheat bix later on but, so I might sin that or just have half of it and have half a healthy extra B um, sorry have half Silly, I know what I mean. <laughs> um, so, this is going to be my healthy extra B. There's a two of the Neville's wholemeal bread, which is a B choice, and um, that's from Tesco. And then I've got seafood sticks in here. I've got one sin's worth of the um, reduced fat salad cream, and then I've got some iceberg lettuce in there. I have it with some hula puffs, which are three and a half sins, and a cup of tea. So I'm just prepping dinner for tonight and I am making this cheesy fajito risotto. So basically it's like a risotto but with orzo. Um, it's so easy, you just put, you just fry onion, pepper, chopped peppers, you can choose whatever peppers you want, just two of them, um, onion, red or white, and then your mince. It says turkey mince but you can mix and match it, I'm just using beef mince. Fry that off. Add um, two teaspoons of garlic granules, two tablespoons of um, fajita seasoning, stir that, then um, once all the meat and is and the meat's brown and the onions have softened, you add um, a tablespoon of tomato puree, then you add, um, stir that all around, then you add 600 mils of chicken stock, and then also stir that around, Add 200 grams of orzo, and then I'm going to let it. You just let bring it to the boil, let it simmer now for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just need to stir it now and again so it doesn't stick. And then once this is cooked, once the pasta has all been absorbed, then I'm. It says to um, stir in lemon juice, so the juice of one lemon and coriander, 
um, a handful of fresh coriander, stir that around. Um, and then also the cheese. So you add 120 grams of reduced fat cheddar, or you could use full fat if it's 120 grams, and have your, that as your healthy extra A. That's what I'm gonna use as my healthy extra A today. Stir that around and then just serve as it is with the salad or whatever you want. Um, and then just top, like, sprinkle some spring onion or coriander on the top. Um, just for decor really but yeah I'm looking quite forward to this this is what it's meant to look like later on um, I think it's five sins um, obviously if you're using full, full fat cheddar it's going to be different but it's five sins but I'm going to use it as my healthy extra A because that's the only sins that are in there um, it says you could also as an option obviously just count the sins accordingly you serve it with some reduced fat sour cream um, but I'm not going to I'm just going to serve it as it is with the salad and that's it I will show you what it looks like later once it's ready. So here's tonight's dinner. It's the cheesy uh, fajita or zitto, um, basically take on the risotto. Um, and it, I've, I've tasted a little bit and it tastes really, really good. Definitely recommend this one. Um, if anyone wants me, me to post like a screenshot of the actual recipe, let me know and um, drop me a DM on Instagram or send me a message here and I'll find a way to get it to you. But yeah, it's so good. Um, really good i just uh, stirred through the lemon and the coriander and then i've just topped it with some spring onion served it with some salad which i've sprayed it with a little bit of um balsamic vinegar which is all free and speed and yeah i'm gonna have this for dinner this is my healthy extra a otherwise everything else is free or speed so i'm just gonna have my pudding um it's more of an evening snack um i made a cheesecake earlier and it has definitely got that cheesecake consistency. I use the quark, um, so it's pretty much, the quark and everything, it's obviously synth for free, the lemon juice and everything. And then I've added the wheat a bit. Now I wasn't use it as my healthy extra uh, B, but I use that for the bread at lunch and it's six and a half sins for two wheat bix so, so I'm ending the day on 11 and a half sins. Um, it may be less if I decide it's too much because there's quite a bit there, but um, I'll see how I go. Okay, change of plan from the, the um, cheesecake. It was very nice. I think I'll add a little bit of sweetener um, into it, but I actually only ate half of it, so not even that actually. So it's three and a half sins, it says, for one wheat bix of the little ones. Um, and I'm really fancy chocolate. Darren was having chocolate, so I'm going to have some chocolate as well. So I'm having a curly whirly, which is six sins, so I'm having 14 and a half sins in total for today. Um, so I thought I'd just update you on that. Um, and that's it. I'll speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye.